it's always a great pleasure for me to speak with you. My name is Michael Williams, your smooth speech and presentation specialist. Today, we're going to talk about the power of smooth speech self-talk. The power of smooth speech self-talk. Now, first of all, let's define what we mean by smooth speech self-talk. I'm sure you've probably heard of self-talk, and so what we're doing is we are specifically talking about what you say to yourself with regards to your ability to speak smoothly. What do you say to yourself regarding your ability to speak smoothly? That's what we mean when we say smooth speech self-talk. So it's anything that you say to yourself, anything that you think on a regular basis that has to do with your speech and particularly your ability to speak well. Okay, So when we talk about self-talk in general, we're talking about what? Talking to ourselves, right? So someone says, well, all right, that kind of makes sense. I already know that. But are you saying talk to yourself aloud so other people can hear you? Are you saying it's just what we think internally? Is it when we're whispering to ourselves? Which one is it? Well, it can be all of those things, right? I can talk to myself aloud so that other people can hear me, and it might sound kind of strange. Or I can think internally, but I'm still directing my thoughts. I'm talking to myself. Or I can whisper, and I'm talking to myself, right? So it could be any of those. Primarily, though, what I'm referring to in this series, and this is going to be a short series of videos, primarily what I'm referring to is your ability to talk to yourself internally. That is what you're thinking. It's your direction. It's your train of thinking. Remember that expression, train of thinking, because we're going to come back to it. We're going to revisit that expression various times throughout the series, your train of thinking. So in this first part, uh, we've, we've just introduced what we mean when we say smooth speech self-talk. We're also going to look at step one in this whole process and there are essentially three steps and I'll actually tell you what the steps are now and then we'll have some short videos that walk through the other two steps because I'm going to give you the first step now. Now before I do that I want you to know how crucial and imperative uh, this whole topic is and these steps are. In fact I would go as far to say that this is one of the top most important steps and processes that you're going to need to know for success in any and every area of life. Any and every area of life. That's pretty big, right? And especially when it comes to uh, transforming your speech. Why is this important? Well, here's why. Essentially, everything you and I do is impacted by, affected by, driven by, in one way or another, how we think and what we think and how often we think it. And, and we'll talk about those factors in just a minute. But it's driven by, it's affected by our thoughts. And often it's affected by our lack of awareness of what we're thinking. Okay, So let's just get into that and, and understand why this is so crucial. Right, It's crucial to your being able to transform your speech. It's crucial because you have to be aware. And that's the first step. The first step is awareness. You have to absolutely be aware of a few things. Number one, you have to be aware that you are thinking. Okay? Now that may sound a little crazy, right? But often people aren't even aware that they are thinking. They just go through life, thoughts drifting through their minds, or taking them in certain directions that they don't necessarily want to go. So they just think what they think. And they're not necessarily aware that they're even thinking. They're just existing and they're living and they're thinking and they're doing whatever they do. They're thinking whatever they think. So one of the things that you're going to need to do to become a high performance person is to watch this, understand, become aware that you think, that you are a thinker, that you are thinking. Does that make sense? Okay. Critical, crucial, imperative to understand that we are thinkers and that we're thinking all the time, whether we realize it or not. So becoming aware that you're thinking. Number two, 
becoming aware of the content of your thoughts, that is, what am I thinking, right? What am I thinking from moment to moment? Becoming aware of the frequency of those thoughts. How often am I thinking this? Do I think this uh, every day? Do I think it every moment of the day? What am I consistently and constantly thinking about? And then the next one is the intensity of those thoughts. Are these thoughts pulling on me and charging me up emotionally, right? There are some thoughts that when you think about them, you can actually feel your emotions start to bubble up. You feel yourself start to transform and become either sad or frustrated or upset or angry or happy, right? So the intensity. So let's run back through those. Number one is, is being aware. This is the first step, and this is all we're going to talk about today. In the other videos, we'll talk about the other steps, which I'll tell you what they are in just a moment. But today we're talking about step one, which is what starts with an A. It is awareness. Awareness of what? Of the fact that you're thinking, that you are a thinker, that you have thoughts. Number two, the content of those thoughts. What am I thinking from moment to moment, from hour to hour, from day to day? What you are thinking is going to determine your habits, right? If you think something long enough and consistently enough, it becomes a pattern of thinking. And your patterns of thinking will then impact and determine and drive what else? Your behaviors, your actions. And then if you continue to repeat the same actions over and over, that's going to determine what? Who you are, your character, right? the kind of person that you are. And that determines your whole destiny, right? Who you become, what you do, everything else in your life, okay? So we can trace this directly back to your thinking and even beyond your thinking, before your thinking, it's what you allow to enter into your mind, what you watch, what you watch, what you listen to, what you talk about, what other people are talking about around you. All those things can impact and determine uh, the content of your thoughts, the frequency of your thoughts, and the intensity of your thoughts. So there are four characteristics there. The first one is to be aware that you're thinking, to be aware of the content of your thoughts, to be aware of the frequency of your thoughts, and to be aware of the intensity of those thoughts, the emotional charge that those thoughts have for you. So step one is awareness. And once you become aware of these things, then you can do something about it. So when I'm working with clients, one of the things that we do is we help them to become aware of their speech, right? Of, okay, when you were in that situation and you were about to order that coffee or you were about to um, say something in the meeting, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? Sometimes clients say, huh, I'm not sure. Or they'll say, okay, well, I was anticipating that I was going to get stuck. Aha, good, now we've got something, right? Now we have something. So this is the first step. In the next video, in the next video, we're going to talk about how to stop the trains of thinking that you don't want to be on, trains of thinking that are taking you in directions that you don't want to go, right? We, remember I mentioned trains of thinking, your train of thinking? So sometimes we can have trains of thinking that simply are taking us in directions that we don't want to go. So how can you stop that train, right? That's going to be in the second video. And then in the third video, we'll talk about how to change trains of thinking. Get off that train and get on a train of thinking that's taking you in the direction that you want to go, which is on this journey to smooth speech. You want to get on a train that takes you to smooth speech. Does that make sense? Is that true? Is that a good assumption that you want to be on a train that's taking you to smooth, to clear, to calm, to confident speech, to speech that allows you to speak up and say whatever you want to say when you want to say it and not have to be worrying about stuttering or stammering or getting stuck. Now listen, we're all going to get stuck. Everyone gets stuck. I still get stuck, right? So this is not about getting you to 100%. 
What it's about is actually helping you become an exceptional speaker because you've gone through the training that you need to build the skills to speak well, that you've transformed your identity, your self-concept, from thinking about yourself and believing that, oh, I'm a stammerer, I'm a stutterer, and, um, uh, and I always get stuck on these words. These are the words I get stuck on. We want to transform that so that you see yourself as being an amazing speaker, an awesome speaker, an incredible speaker. And that, yes, well, sometimes you get a little stuck on this word, and I get a little, but when other people hear you speak, they listen. They want to hear you speak. They want to speak with you. They want to talk to you because you're an excellent speaker. This can be done. I've helped many people do it. I've done it myself. It doesn't matter where you're at, and depending on where you're at, you may have to work a little harder, you may have to work a little longer, but trust me, there is hope. You can get there, and you can get there a lot faster than what you think. If you have a scientifically based system or process, and if you have some accountability so that you can be consistent, and you have some evaluation and feedback that can help save you time. So in the next video, which I want you to tune into, we're going to talk about what? We're going to talk about how to stop those trains of thinking that are not taking you in the direction of smooth speech. Remember, my name is Michael Williams. I'm your smooth speech and presentation specialist, and I'll see you in the next video.